These three great players trying to figure it out. It's going to be a lot of fun because, like I said in the open, any Ubre starting to come on. He had a, just a, a horrible start to the season as Harden swishes a three. Harden leading the NBA in assists per game, over 11 assists per game. Nice find to Brown, and Brown throws it down. Six early points for Bruce Brown. Oh, a two-point lead early for Brooklyn as we're just past the halfway point. Durant just inside the arc gets his first field goal. Obviously last year missed the entire season as Draymond Green kicks it out. Oubre left open, and Oubre knocks it down. Strong. Oubre corrals it with one hand. Raymond Green's been on a terrific roll with assists, and there's another one. So tied together offensively with Steph Curry. That's not a set play. Just recognizing the overplay and finding him on the back cut. Yeah, don't fight pressure. Green goes inside, reverse, and able to back it home. Curry gets inside. That's the play mark that Steve Kerr's talked about. So in that interview he had with Rachel, he said, I apologize for how it went down leaving Houston, but I had to do what I had to do to get where I wanted to go as Dream on Green banks it in. Uh, Andrew Shamit throws yeah. across to Green. He also gave them credit, Coach, as an organization for sending him to Brooklyn. That it came to that because, you know, you just never win those trades. If you're the team giving away greatness. Talk about Drain, I would say at times, game six, game seven, carrying the team against, as Kevin Durant knocks down the shot, that's game planning against you. That, you know, everyone wanted him to give an, give an excuse. Green to Curry, Curry off the glass. I mean, everything. I mean, the comfort level of playing together is, you know, paramount at this stage. We're just getting to know each other. I think they're trying to break old habits and form new bonds, you know really embrace the challenge of being the guy who guards the opponent's best player tries another three this one goes down and the lead is cut to three I like how Pasco switched up and into the ball Durant nails a three-pointer Pascal drives gets inside good move but just couldn't finish Luavo Cabarro throws it down Joe Harris Little ball fake and himself free and nails the three-pointer. That's his second three. He's got eight points in nine minutes. One of the elite shooters in all of basketball, Joe Harris has become. Inside the arc is Wiggins. That role, you look at Draymond Green. He impacted guys like Jared Jack, who's done an outstanding job yesterday in the G League. Curry. Cutting off the ball, layup is good on a beautiful bounce pass from Oubre. He's just one of six from downtown so far here tonight. Harden gets inside, lays it up and in. Harden, nice feed inside to Brown. Draymond Green defended it well, but Brown got the rebound and put it back up and in. Harden looking, oh, nice feed again. Brown banks it home. Eight assists for Harden. 39% from the field so far. Brown, Tyler Johnson. Johnson connects out of three. That's his second three-pointer off the bench. Well, the Warriors got to be aware and take a foul. Nobody's doing it right now as Irving knocks back into a little 2-3 zone trying to disrupt the Nets offensively. Harden left open. That's a three. James Harden. Yeah, well, Mike, they checked him out there right before halftime, put him through all of the steps there, and they decided he was good to go. He actually ran back out onto the court, so you can see he's playing okay. Thanks, Rachel. Kelly Oubre, good aggressive move to the bucket. He's got 9.8 rebounds. Irving's, now once again, Bruce Brown runs the middle of the floor in transition. With all due respect to DeAndre Jordan and what he brings to the table, you can make the case there are better teams. Irving misses with the left hand. Irving missed a game recently with a sprained finger, but as Toscano Anderson and Oubre on the follow throws it down. Good job attacking the offensive boards. Joe Harris left open. Doesn't miss many of those. So two very important front court players for them still remain out. Kyrie Irving steps back and hits a three-pointer. That was like a uh, five-foot step back. Largest lead of the game right now. Curry cuts layup is good. 
Irving a little shake and bake off the glass. Bounds his third straight double double. That's a nice feed from Curry. Ubre kept going and is rewarded. Down the other end, Brown and the foul. Bruce Brown, 15 points now and a chance for a three point play. How many people picked that up? <laughs> Curry floats it up and in. 20 points for Curry. Like four or five highlight passes, like right there. Oh, that's just gorgeous. That's a difficult one handed shot from Jeff Green. And those, they're just carving up the switch. Green's doing a good job getting behind the switch. And those, they're just carving up the switch. Green's doing a good job getting behind the switch. Oh, Curry with a gorgeous move. But right now, Golden State unable to stop this lethal offensive firepower of Brooklyn. Durant, step back, jumpers. Harden. Rifle pass inside and a foul. Jeff Green once again the beneficiary on just a gorgeous look from James Harden. Durant off the dribble. <laughs> a difficult shot from Durant with Draymond Green all over him and Steve Kerr calls timeout. Well, that's, that's saying a lot. He He's just... I mean, look at that right on Q, Rachel. Just argument about his skill. There's no argument about his ability to finish at the rim as Ubre. Kevin Durant is seven feet tall and has the ability to do everything. <laughs> but this guy is, there's no question about how special Kyrie Irving is as a basketball player. Is every day having to face that guy? Damian Lee, three-pointer. And a rare three-pointer goes in. Again, they missed their last 11. Odd Strickland would eat two hot dogs before the game <laughs> and then go drop 30. <laughs> Kevin Durant with an easy slam. No, but certain guys, it's not a bunch of guys in there. There's, there's about five of them that have separated themselves in this first half of the season, in my opinion. James Harden, meanwhile, hits another three-pointer. And the Warriors have been a very good defensive team. Harden back to back three pointers. Harden gets inside, misses. Remember Harden last year with Houston after the Clint Capella trade? They were really small. Mike D'Antoni was now, as Pascal hits it, Warriors trying to chip away, but hard to do it with this offensive firepower. Jeff Green, nice. Harden. Again, James Harden from downtown, his fifth three pointer. A handful to defend. So a guy that got 15 assists can do that. You have no answer defensively. Wiggins with the jumper at the other end. When Brooklyn's playing Irving and Durant there, much, much harder. Over. And likes to play big minutes. Leads the NBA in that department. A lot of contact there as Wiggins and Shamit go tumbling. But Wiggins. What has been a blowout second quarter for Brooklyn. Pascal, nice move inside, and that cuts it to under 20. Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant back out on the floor with Harden. Again, this is only their seventh game where all three have played as Irving knocks down the three-pointer. As we approach the midway point here in the fourth, Irving drives past Oubre, left-handed. Irving putting on a show here in the last several minutes. He's got 20. And it's Kyrie Irving. I mean, he is just... <laughs> oh, and the foul. This is wizardry right now. Had it knocked away. He's shooting 95% from the line. Curry for three. Got it. If you cut on the nets, you're going to get rewarded. Wiggins gets down the lane. Layup is good. So that one's and they fit well together. Brown gets inside. You know the highest scoring trio? In terms of guys that are all as Irving has 23, Durant 20, Harden 19 points and 16 assists as Kevin Durant on his first game at the Chase.